We've been working on backhand forehand transition. This is one of the basic backhand forehand transition drill because it's simple. You always hit cross court one on each side. But if you actually think about it, going from backhand to forehand, we're always going backhand and then going to the right to the play forehand. Okay? What's the other sequence? Going this way. Okay? And after forehand, we always came this way. But what is the other sequence? Going the other side. So to practice that, another very basic fundamental drill that you can do is backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. For this drill, the other person has to block three here and one here and just backhand side backhand side okay so this doesn't need to go left right left right just to the backhand side but because we've been practicing the bow tie drill the other person is very comfortable blocking down the line because that's what you've been doing all the time so three block here one block here person backhand forehand backhand forehand so that's all the sequence there is from the backhand to forehand. There are three steps that you always need to make okay one is preparation step which means you're moving towards the position to get ready to play second is a swing step which is your as you're making your stroke you need to use the footwork or the step to shift the weight quickly and to make your footwork smooth and the last thing is the reset or recovery step which is to come back to the neutral position so that you're closer to any place so these three steps you 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 will do it when each ball is too far from each other or when you don't know where the ball is coming to so you will always try to do the reset or recovery step but in this case this is called regular drill which means you know where the ball is coming we promised where we're gonna put the ball so what that means is not, this one is not too much about reading the ball, but it's more about muscle memory. So when we do this drill, we are skipping the recovery step and we are doing only the preparation step and swing step. But you do need to do both of them, not just preparation step. So this is the difference. If you're skipping the swing step, it looks like this. Okay? So I'm moving into the position, but after that, I just use my arm. Move, use my arm. No. If you do the swing step, it looks like this. Every time you swing, you will make a hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, if you're staying here, footwork is same but it's very unnatural it looks very awkward because you're just like jumping like this the purpose is not to jump upwards the purpose is to give rotational energy as you make the swing two three four one two three four so need to remember these steps the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working out maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so 